what's up I'm Miss Ray welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go I would appreciate it so today we're gonna drink some coffee and hang out and not really we're not doing any of those things well we are hanging out because I'm doing this video for you guys but I finally decided to do a makeup challenge and I chose to start with the Google chose my makeup or Google chose my look whatever people call it I don't even know I saw it on a bunch of different uh, makeup artist channels that I follow and I watched a couple different videos and I was like I have to try this It looks like so much fun. So if you don't know what it is Here's a clip of how to do it So what you have to do is go into Google type the first letter of your first name and the first letter of your last name followed by the word look search Look under images, and the first image that pops up is the image that you have to recreate as an eyeshadow look. The first images. I thought that mine was kind of funny because it's like home decor, like a living room. And surprisingly, um, black, gold, and white are three of my favorite decorating colors. That is what my living room is, is black, white, and gold. I love that. I love the elegance, the class, the sophistication of those three colors. So we are going to recreate an eye look using those three colors. First, or I did my full face of makeup first and I did it as a time lapse. So you guys can watch that. Um, I'll post everything that I used below so that you can know and if there's anything that you like, you can check it out, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, here is that. So now that I have my full face done, I even did my brows, uh, we're going to jump into how I'm going to create a black, white, and gold eyeshadow look. I just hope it doesn't look like poo. Ugh. Come on, Rachel, have confidence. You got this. So I'm going to have to use three different palettes because I didn't have one palette that had all three of the colors that I wanted to use. So we are going to use all three ColourPop palettes. The Yes Please palette. Forgive me, mine is really, really dirty. But this palette has a gold shade that is very nice, shimmery, and gold, like I said. So we're gonna use the gold from the Yes Please palette to use the I think I love you palette and it has the black that I need and it also has another shade of gold we are also going to use the you had me at hello palette this one has the perfect white shades for me to use in this look all right you guys let's get started I will be drinking coffee while I do this video. You should grab your favorite beverage of choice as you watch this video and join me as I drink my coffee. First, I'm going to line my eyelids with this Fair ColourPop Concealer. Mine is almost empty, I need to order some more. I already primed my eyelids using the uh, using the what did I use what did I use the NYX eyeshadow base I use the beige but for this look I'm going to set up a nice white canvas for the eyeshadow to lay and I'm going to take my beauty blender and I am going to 
press this in just a little bit. Okay, so I did not plan what I was going to have this look look like. I am just winging it right now. So the imagination is all I have to go off of and obviously that photo that I showed you. Um, what I'm thinking is I'm going to go ahead and take the You Had Me At Hello palette. I'm going to pick up the shade Candy Graham. This is a beautiful white shimmery shade and I'm going to just go ahead and take a flat brush to press that into the entire lid. Okay, so we're gonna use that white shimmery shade as our base coat. Next, I'm going to pick up the I Think I Love You palette and I am going to grab this shade Rule Breaker. I'm gonna pick up Rule Breaker with the Crown Blending Eyeshadow Brush and I'm just gonna take a little bit on the edge and shake off any excess because I don't want to overwhelm my eye with black. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it into the crease of the eye, starting out super lightly. And I'm kind of just like pressing this ever so gently because I don't, I just don't want it to go everywhere. I'm gonna take this brush and I'm going to blend, 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 and blend some more. Black is one of those colors that if you're not careful, it will take over your eye. And this makeup look I'm going to be wearing during the day, so I don't want it to be too extreme for a daytime look. I'm gonna take this blending, fluffy blending brush and just kind of blend this dark shade because like I said, I don't want it to be overpowering. Oh, I think I have something in my eye. Ah! Okay, so for right now, the black is finished. It's just kind of like a smoky black for that smoky eye. So next, I'm going to go ahead and take some gold. We're going to take the Yes Please palette, and I am going to pick up this shade Spoiled. Arm. So I'm going to pick up that gold shade, and I am going to focus it right in the inner corner of the eye. See, this gold is super light. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use it as a base in the corner. Because yeah, it's pretty light. So I'm going to go back and grab the I Think I Love You palette and I'm going to pick up this gold which is Let's Do It and I'm going to use this same little eyeshadow brush shake off any extra and I'm going to kind of redirect that That's definitely more gold. That's way better. Okay. 
Okay, now that I have that gold going on, maybe I'll just press a little bit more into the corner. Perfect. Okay, so I got the gold. I got it all over, but we'll clean that up. Okay. You know what? For fun, I'm going to take this yellow French kiss and I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of it with my blending brush and I'm going to use it in the trans as a like a um transition shade it's like right here in the middle to kind of fuse these colors together I'm gonna take this vintage company angled fluffy brush and I'm going to pick back up the black shade from the I think I love you palette just like a tiny bit of it don't want to overpower anything. I'm gonna take it back into the crease of the eye. I'm gonna grab that fluffy blending brush and just kind of like blend this. anything harsh. Okay, now that I have that done, I'm going to take a little bit more of that concealer that we used earlier, and I'm going to clean this up under here and on this side. All the fallout before I finish this look. Okay, so here is the black and gold. And now I'm gonna go back in with that white in the You Had Me At Hello palette and I'm going to take a little stiff brush and pick up some of that white again and go back into Go back in under the brow. Kind of clean all that up. And I'm also going to put some right in here, the corner of my eye by my nose. Before I put on anything else, I am going to grab the Sex Kitten Liquid Eyeliner from Tarte. And I'm gonna put some of that on my top lid really fast. Okay, got that sex kitten liner on and I'm gonna go back in with this flat little brush and I'm going to finish up this look by taking a little bit of the black and smudging it right 
under the lash line. I don't want a lot of it, I just want a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna go also with the gold and right under the lash line. With that, then I'm going to take the Vintage Cosmetics pencil eyeliner and I am going to line the inside of my top eyelid. And last step, we're gonna take some mascara. I'm gonna use two different ones. I'm going to use the Superhero by It and the Voluminous, Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. I like to start with the Superhero mascara and just line All right, guys, so there you have it. Here is my Google chose my makeup look. It was a black, white, and gold eye look. I tried to go with more of the sultry, subtle, classic look rather than... Rather than the bold, edgy look. So this is what I came out with. Nice and subtle, perfect for a daytime or a nighttime look, whatever you're looking for. You can also pop on some eyelashes, whatever. So I feel like I lucked out with this challenge because mine wasn't something too crazy or too difficult. Um, I would love to know what you guys thought of it. Please give this video 